I advise you to watch my The Earth is Flat video before you get into this. Which reminds me, on that video I got many comments. Comments of which they said that I was funny and that I was lying about being a flat earther. This isn't the case. The flat earth is something that I believe in and I don't think it should be taken as a joke. There was only one person that believed in me, <laughs> and it was great. However, now that you know, I'm a flat earther, and I believe that the earth is flat, but maybe you don't, and that's okay. Maybe I can change your mind, or maybe that video can, because that video explain, ex explains how the earth is flat, and it's amazing. However, this is not this video. There's a lot of confusion when it comes to thinking of how the earth came to be whether or not it's flat we live here and we exist and we are living and we breathe so clearly we have an earth a planet but we don't really know how it got here do we there are a lot of theories about how the earth came to be for example simply it was god and the big bang theory and those are things that sometimes don't clash but sometimes they do but what if it's none of that what if it's something else something that the government isn't telling us something that we needed to figure out ourselves in this video i will share with you my theory of how the earth became what it is and what created it first we'll begin with other planets planets that surround earth we all know that there are planets, and I have a list because I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the list of planets goes Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and so on. But wait, if you go back, back in time, and you go back and you research Earth, Mars, you would see that people are studying it seeing if there was possible life on it, or that there still is. And I think it's weird if the planet that could have stored life, or that is storing life right now, is right above the one that we live on. Isn't that a little bit odd? Is that a not a coincidence? It's not a coincidence. Personally, I think that there were beings on Mars. And Mars was a beautiful planet and it was so filled with everything beautiful and just think of the most, there was so much plantation, so much beauty, so much just power and this one person, this one being wanted to take over that. They wanted all the power of whatever Mars had. And so they destroyed what they could to get the power. But they ended up destroying themselves and two boys were left. And these beings weren't ordinary. They were large. And because of the radiation, the, the boys that were left just got larger and larger. And they were playing catch. These two boys who shall remain unnamed until we have further research. And Anyways. They were playing catch because they knew it was their last days together and they they didn't want to die miserably just like their family said so they were playing catch in this as he went to catch the ball he face planted and he got his mouth full with dirt this rich soil that they once had was now mutated and filled with radiation and it was toxic and so he screamed and his friend gave him the last little bits of water that they had and so his friend was crying because he knew that he couldn't help his friend. But the boy drank the water anyways and he spit it out along with the sand and the toxins and the poison and whatever. As the other one was crying, the other one was spitting out the sandy, gross water. Their tears and spit began to fall off. They began to fall off the surface of Mars. 
that's how bad it was where nothing would sink in anymore it would just go around and it would fall and then it was in this outer space and it was stuck together for some reason and it started mixing and mixing and it it so much of it started mixing and getting colder that it just froze in a diamond or a triangle shape however you want to see it or say it and it just stood there for millions of years just there going around the sun everywhere else with all the other planets and there's evidence for all of this there's evidence for science studying mars for life there's evidence there's witnesses saying that they saw a ufo carrying a picture of this this picture of two boys, one spitting out, one crying, creating this creation that we live on. And you might be wondering, well, how, how can that store life? Well, the chemical reaction between the tears and the toxins and the sand and everything in the mixture just started creating bacteria and that bacteria began to grow and grow uh, and it it started bringing up more life and life and life and life and eventually there were dinosaurs and narwhals and the dinosaurs they went into the earth because they knew that it was not safe yet to live outside and they flattened it and the narwhals kept it flat and safe and that's the earth we know today, the flat one. And that's my conclusion on my theory of how the earth came to be and what created it. People will say that this is fake, but I swear to you, I've researched, I've spent long, hard hours studying this. This isn't just something I picked out of thin air. No, I can pick anything out of thin air, but I studied this. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I changed your mind about the earth not being a sphere or a donut. It is flat and we know that. <laughs> but that's just my facts. And my facts are opinions and my opinions are facts. So it's up to you to believe whatever you want. Because I can't force you to. <laughs> Thank you fellow flat earthers. Peace out man!